I have only brought this subject up a couple of times, I think. Maybe mentioned it a few times. But for the most part, I don't ever talk about it. And it has to do with ghosts. Yeah. Ghosts, spirits, whatever you want to call them. Do I believe in them? Yes and no. Have I had experiences that scared the hell out of me? Oh, yeah. In this house? No. Uh, one particular time was in Miami Beach when I was packing up a McMansion. And I stayed there for a couple of months. I'll get into that in a minute. Now, this house, this cabin has a history. Uh... Two people died here. Don't think the lady died in the house, but the man did upstairs. And I've never really, you know, had any. Here's a few things that have happened. First few months I was here, I was taking a video and orbs were everywhere. You know, orbs can be in a lot of things. I do have a picture that I took, I'll never, I'm never going to find it. Actually, I think I put it in a video. So it's in my videos somewhere, my photography videos. But in this picture, you can see an image of a person. And it wasn't the sun because I took many, once I, I saw it after I took the picture and I took many more and it was in there and then it was just gone. Don't know if that was anything. It could be camera trickery. You just never know. But what happened this morning in this place, this morning when I was having my coffee, I can't explain. It didn't, that stuff just doesn't scare me. I don't know why. It just, you know, maybe if I seen something, it would scare me. But I just don't have that fear. I can sit and watch scary movies all night. And it doesn't phase me. Uh, but this morning, I got up. I think I was on my second cup of coffee. Okay, in the morning, I just kind of go on the, over to the computer. I don't play no videos. I, I turn the. I do listen to a radio at night. When I get up, I turn it off. I like dead to silence, if that's even possible. <laughs> you know, I got tinnitus, but I can hear. You know, just because I got ringing in my ears, I can make out distinct sounds. I can hear good. Well, I'm sitting there, and it's all quiet as usual, and I hear this. <coughs> distinct human coughing. And so I think somebody's on the front porch. Or, I'll, you know, because that desk in that office is right by the wall. So if somebody's on the side of the house, I'm going to know it. So instead of getting, I just turn around and look at my cameras. And there's nothing. There's nobody out there, nothing. And then I hear it again. <coughs> Three times, just like the first time. But this time, it was louder. And it's somebody coughing. But this time, I, it, it definitely come from the loft. So I go over to my end table and I grab my, you know what, and I start heading up the stairs because if somebody's in my house, uh, yeah, they're they're gonna be hurting. Nobody, there's nothing up there, man. And I've never heard that before. Anything like that. Now here is something that does happen. Hasn't happened for quite a while. Uh, if you go back to my, my, that big video and I show all the pictures of when I bought this place, this place was just covered, covered in nicotine all over the walls, the ceiling. And what we, you know, my brother was helping me. What we didn't tear down off the walls, we tore most of the sheetrock out. And where I am sitting right now was the ladies' bedroom. The bed was right here. And these room, this room in here was, everything had to come out of here. It was just terrible. It, the ceiling had to come down. It was just 
covered. And I mean this stuff so thick, it's dripping. So this whole room, that's why I won't ever sleep in here. <laughs> I just don't get a good, this is a good feeling being in here with a, you know, with a podcast studio or an office, but I ain't spending the night in this dude. Nope. Not after, if you would have seen this room when I bought this place, what it looked like, you would never want to be in here. And I've changed it up a lot. I've added room to the bed, uh, bathroom, so it's much smaller than it originally was. It was just full of garbage. It was nasty. Nasty. But the only thing I've ever, that's happened here, is I'll, once in a while, I'll, I'll be outside usually. And I'll walk in, and it's like somebody is sitting in this house, smoke, and I'm an ex-smoker, so I know the smell, that is smoking a fresh cigarette. It's a, this is not a cigarette that was smoked 20 years ago. This is somebody is sitting there smoking. It's that strong, and it smells that good, because I like that smell. Cigarettes burning. Mm. Might go get me a pack. Uh, nope. So... That has happened on several occasions, and this house does not smell like smoke. I would know it, but I will get that once in a while. I haven't seen anything other, I mean, that was actually the first time I've heard anything. Now, this house makes a lot, of, especially right now when it's getting colder at night, this house is starting to creak and crack. None of that phases me, but that coffin, I don't want to hear that again. You know, I mean, I, <laughs> I do not want to hear that again. And I heard it twice because I didn't know. It's like they knew they thought I was outside, you know, thinking it was coming from outside. They wanted you to know that it was coming from inside. You know, probably tomorrow I'll, I'll be sitting there and I'll hear Cigarette. Would you like to have a cigarette? <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't want to hear that, man. And then, you know, the other one in the background. <laughs> you gotta love them gadgets. So I don't want to hear that again. Now, talking about Miami Beach, this this place was haunted. I mean, was. Uh, I won't mention, you know, it was a friend of mine's father's house. And he broke his hip. Had to put him in a rehabilitation center. House had to go. He was in his 80s. They hired me to pack it up. And I could stay there while, you know. I could say I've lived in a mansion in Miami Beach. Yep. And this house was 60 years worth of collections. He had a tool collection, a pipe collection, a cigarette lighter collection. He had 850 million sets of China. I went through so much newspaper and boxes packing up. I mean, it was just full of stuff. So I packed up, I spent the entire day just packing up his office, well, one of his offices. And I stacked all the boxes in the center of the room. And one of the boxes contained a bunch of VCR tapes, VHS tapes from a VCR, and they were pornography. And the mother... You know, his, his wife committed suicide in that house. I, I don't, in the 70s sometime. But there was always, there was some spooky stuff going on in there. And so I'm downstairs in what's called the sunroom. All, all, if you're from Florida, you know what that is. Everybody's got one. And I'm in there and I'm on the internet. And I hear a, lo a loud thud. And so I run upstairs. It's mar solid marble stairs. There's like a spiral type stairs. I get up there and the boxes of porno tapes, which were on the very bottom of the stack, were knocked over. And the remainder of the boxes, they were stacked like three boxes high, 
the remainder of the boxes were where I stacked them, but they were on top. So how'd they get to the bottom? And then those, those porn tapes were knocked over on their sides. There's no way that could have fell over. I mean, I guess somehow it could have, I don't know, but there was nobody up there. Well, that was just one incident. And there was so many others. Um, me and my buddy were sitting there one time in the sunroom and we were drinking, but we was messing with them. We were like, if you're real, knock twice. And you, a few seconds later, you'd hear that. And we're starting to freak out, you know, but, uh, it got to the point in that house where I wouldn't sleep in the room I was sleeping in anymore. And when I did, I had the TV on and the lights on. It it was, I, I could not wait to get out of that place, man. It was horrible. And, you know, the house wasn't, I think it was built in the 30s, 20s or 30s. It's still there. Uh, man, it, 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 it was it. Or it was something else. But the only other incident that I've ever had, ever, well, if you've seen the video about the red light, and that could be anything, uh, that was paranormal or whatever. But the only other incident I have ever had in my life, and it's probably the most scary, is I was living in, where was I at? Burns, Burnsville, Minnesota. And we were sleeping. Me and my girlfriend were sleeping. And I just woke up. And I was thirsty and I woke up and I started to sit up out of bed and I look at the foot of the bed and there's about 10 people standing there and they were not from our century. Trust me. And this is in a condo and we are up on probably the 15th floor. So where would that come from? Uh, and I screamed. And I'm like, whoa, what? And I'm thinking there, there's real beans in there. And so she wakes up and, and doesn't see them. So um, I'm like, well, I know I've seen them. I'm, I haven't laid back down, you know, like I'm dreaming or nothing. I knew what I saw. Boy, that scared the hell out of me. And these were like adults, children, all different ages of people. And it was, and then it didn't look like they were solid, you know, they had a little bit of a trend, you know, and you got to, it, it was dark out in the room, but you know how your eyes adjust at night and there was street lights outside. You could still see something. You could see the pictures on the wall and that, that is the only other time that I can remember right now, but. I don't know if it's anything at all, if there's anything at all, or to our imaginations, but the coffin this morning, uh, ooh, what I do need to do, I just thought of this, is go play my cameras back. See if it picks up on that. No, 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 I don't think it will. No, it, it can't, because I don't have, I don't have uh, any cameras from the wired system in, inside the house, so. That ain't going to work. I do have a blink camera in here, but I don't think I don't have the subscription where I can go back and play that. That would, I'm there. I think there's going to be a camera up there soon. Yeah. Well, I guess that's it for my little ghost story. It's getting towards Halloween. Those are true stories. And that's true about this morning. And I don't ever want to hear that again. I'm going to have to set something up there. Maybe an ashtray. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Happy trails. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. That's the wrong button. It's supposed to be this one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>